Good morning. Hello. Almost ready. Get started here. Just going to send the link in case we have people who are unable to find us. How are you this morning? Let's see here. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> Since a link, hopefully that will help in people finding us. And I'm trying to block out the light in the back so that um, you don't have that in your eyes. Good morning. So I'm. I am looking like this because I'm still in my PJs and I just had a little bit of sleep. So my sleep was interrupted in the night, but I'm trying to keep that low situation here. But I'm ready to go here to read Psalm 15 with you. It's just five verses. And then I'll go on with my day. Today is a great opportunity that I have to hand out some gifts to the homeless with a friend here in Reading. So I'm really grateful that I get to do that. It might include some pizza that's left over from <laughs> last night's youth gathering, which was really good for my youngest daughter. Um, so I'm really grateful for that. And uh, of course, today's my day off. I should see you tomorrow at nine again, and that would be Saturday. Sunday will be a little earlier, probably 8.30ish. And so here we go. We have been praying through these Psalms and uh, we read them aloud and then we pray them. So let's pray through this Psalm or read through Psalm 15. It's just entitled a Psalm of David. Lord, who shall dwell temporarily in your tabernacle? Who shall dwell permanently in your holy hill? He who walks and lives uprightly and blamelessly, who works righteous, rightness and justice, and speaks, speaks and thinks the truth in his heart. These are the people that will dwell in those places he who does not slander with his tongue nor does evil to his friend nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor in whose eyes a vile person is despised but he honors those who fear the lord who revere and worship him who swear to his own hurt and does not change he who does not put out his money for interest to one of his own people and who will not take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be moved. Um, in Nehemiah 5, if you ever wanted to look over there, there's an example of this <clears throat> where the wealthy were taking advantage of the poor. Um, the um, the exiles that were coming through, they were, should have been helping them and they were taking advantage of them, taking their goods and their money and stuff. And um, this is what they're talking about here in verse five, where you're charging interest on a loan or taking advantage of the poor, taking what they already are so limited by. So yeah, God sees what we do do as well as what we think or believe or he sees how we act right so um yeah we how we speak to each other so let's go to prayer this morning and ask for his wisdom and determination and self-control in these areas and see how he would have us pray right Good morning, Caitlin. I just see that you're on here. That's great. Awesome. All right, Jesus, we love you so much this morning. It is Friday, and we, we just thank you, Lord, that you've given us another day. We thank you that you've given us your peace. And um, we thank you, Lord, that you've given us your word. 
150 psalms to go through, and here we are on fi number 15, so one-tenth of the way through. How great you are, God. How great you are, and how mighty you are, Lord. How beautiful you are this morning, Lord. We just come and bless you and honor you, worship you. And um, we just want to proclaim and speak your word, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that your word says here that you dwell with and we dwell in your holy hill if we live uprightly and blamelessly. So we pray, Father, that him, he who has set us free, he who has set us in an upright posture, stature, we pray that you would keep us in that position. May we take that position for all that it's worth and walk and live in it blamelessly. Walking and working and living with justice, justice in one hand and uprightness in the other hand. May they be our brothers, may they be our sisters, may they be what we hold on to. And Lord, we thank you, God, that you dwell in a place of holiness. You dwell in a place of rightness and uprightness, and we want to be with you, Lord. Teach us your ways, teach us what that means in all situations. In Jesus' name we ask. Lord, where we have slandered, would you forgive us? Where we have used our tongues to speak about other people, would you cleanse us this morning? Every place, every time we've taken the opportunity to speak badly about another person, would you forgive us, Lord? Especially when it's been not in their presence, but behind their back. Lord, cleanse us even for the need to do this. Lord, secure us so much that we don't have the need to put another person down. Lord, walk so closely with us, securing us as sons and daughters, showing us our identity and who we really are, that we do not crave another person's possessions, their identity, their calling or their giftings, Lord, keep us from slander. Keep us from doing evil to our friends, to our neighbors, Lord. Keep us from even um, mistreating our neighbors. Lord, point out, point out to us the ways that we are mistreating our neighbors. And, um, and make us live and flourish in a neighborhood of peace, Lord, because of the way that we treat our neighbors. Clear up everything that is between us and our neighbors, Lord. If there's something holding us back, at this Christmas time, we pray that there would be much rejoicing and peace in our neighborhoods. We, we actually just stop now and thank you for each one of our neighbors, and we thank you for their households, their children, and what they're all in the midst of, Lord. It's like our mission field, really, Lord, right here in, in these blocks that you've put us in, God. Our situation, Lord, is that you've placed us on this street where we live, on the avenue that we dwell on, Lord, for the reason being to reach out to the people that live around us. So we ask, Lord, that you give us creativity and uh, wisdom, how to wave to, to help, to greet, and to befriend our neighbors. And Lord, we thank you, Jesus, that you look upon those of us that fear you with honor, and so, Lord, would you just place your honor on us today as we walk in the fear of the Lord? Teach us what that means. Give us that kind of um, relationship with you. Synchronize us in that way, Lord, where you are honored 
honoring us as as we walk in the fear of you, knowing who you are, revering you, worshiping you, knowing that we we are um, your kids and we're not you. Just we just stop and thank you, Lord. You are this just the supreme being, and we honor you today as the creator. We honor you today, and we worship you, and we thank you, Lord, for the relationship that we have with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we want to be the kind of people, it says here in verse 4, who swear to their own root and do not change. Lord, we take that to mean that we keep our promises no matter what. We want to be the kind of people that you can trust. When we promise something, we keep our promises. We ask, Lord, that you would make us those kinds of people with that kind of backbone. In Jesus' name. And um, we also ask, lastly, Lord, that you would make us cleanse us from any, any desire ever to take advantage of the poor. And God, we pray for those who are doing that, that you would set them right. And we pray, Father, that there would not be any need for us to give a person a loan and expect anything back above what they can return. We ask, Lord, that you would give us the freedom to give and to give knowing that you are our supply and you are our resource. And you, it is your money anyway. It is your resources. So, Father, thank you for entrusting us with that. I remember just recently talking to my daughter about tithing and telling her again how we do this. And she said, but, oh, Mom, it's all the Lord's. And she was right. Not just a tenth. She said, Mama, it's all the Lord's. And so, God, we just take that uh, reminder this morning and we just say, Lord, that you you can have it all, Lord, as the song says. You can have it all, Lord, every part of my heart. Lord, just take over our bank accounts and our assets. We yield everything to you, Lord, everything of this world that keeps us going and flowing in the economy and we just say lord that we realize that it's all because of you you are the one that teaches us how to make a living you're the one that gives us skills and abilities lord we lean upon you during this season we thank you god that we never have to be afraid to the point of stealing from another and um taking advantage of people who already are disadvantaged. So, Lord, we just thank you so much this morning for just reminding us of how you want us to live. And we thank you for your word that is true and, and right. And we just pray that you would bend our hearts and our wills towards you today. Give us your grace, your mercy your kingdom authority as we walk today. Let there be a harvest where we walk. Let there be blessing where we walk. Let there be an attentiveness on our part to you, to hear and to not miss what you're doing. In Jesus' name. Okay, I'm <clears throat> losing my voice here. All right, be blessed and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be in Psalm 16, which is finally a psalm of David. So we'll see how that goes Saturday. Oh, tomorrow I'll be in my car doing this. That's right. Oh, it's not that long. Um, yes. Let's see here. I think, well, we'll see what time it is tomorrow. It could change. So, um, 
I'll, I'll always post, though. It's always 8.30 or 9. Okay. Bye. I'll be on location, though. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.